So I'm in my truck. I just synchronized everything with a hand clap. This is my first test with everything shooting in narrow field of view. Narrow field of view using three GoPro Hero 3s. And we're going to see what kind of result we get. I'm in downtown Valdez right now. I've just been to the bank. I've got a load of lumber on the back of my truck, so I'm going to try to be a little bit careful what I'm doing here. I don't want to hit anybody. Back it up. And so I could do it's 442 now. I could do a little bit of a tour if I had time. I've got, I've got kind of lumber sticking off the back of my truck, so I hate to do that. Let's just take it on up this way and do one little loop. So here we are in Valdez. That's I just left BB and T. And coming to the Carolina Street, it's going to stop me on the stop sign. Over here to our left is the Waldensian, old Waldensian Bakeries. Now, I think it's owned by a company called Bimbo. Still makes a lot of bread. Every morning when you get up and ride through valleys, I come out here and I, and I go off to the right where the rec center is. I work out, and when I come back out of there, the whole valley smells like bread. It smells fantastic. So there's the old Waldensian Bakery bakeries and uh, it says bimbo usa now on it i'm not sure what all bimbo makes exactly tell you what let's do let's go turn right here and we'll go by the rec center since i'm just doing a little test of my video camera this is uh i guess march 22nd march 22nd 2013 and so I've been doing a little bit of testing with GoPro Hero 3s, trying to do center and left, right. And I've got both these set in a uh, narrow field of view, 48 frames per second, 1080p. On your right there, that is the rec center. The high part is the gym. The low part there with the railing around it is actually a, a really nice bowling alley in there. So pretty nice little rec center. I love working out here got a lot of you know decent machinery and a really excellent pool so let's just do a little cruise by Valdez Recreation Department Community Center go over the speed bumps I've got a little microphone in here with me I'm hoping it's going to sync up all right um, a little iRiver clicks from way back it's probably 2004 2000 you know, something like that. It's fairly old. There are the tennis courts. Carolina Street and Massel Avenue is where we are. I guess you say it Massel or Massel. So I'm going to go across here. Let's come back and do a little cruise through Valdez before I go up the hill to my house. So we're on a back street. Massel or Massel. Uh, Valdez is owned or owned by, not owned by, but established by people from Italy. You see Italy Street there. Uh, the Waldensian people who were persecuted for their religious beliefs. You can look them up on Wikipedia and find out what the Waldensian people were about. And of course there's the beautiful new uh, rock town hall. So that's the Valdez town hall right there. Hope, hope my little cameras are getting that really uh, well. It's only been there maybe two and a half years, something like that. Up beyond it there, the big brick building, is the Alba building. And uh, the place where I work, Blue Ridge Healthcare, has its accounting in the bottom of that. So I guess Alba Waldensian used to have their headquarters there. Now Blue Ridge Healthcare operates off the bottom floor. Their financial stuff, all of our finance. So here I am at Praley Street and Massel. Now I'm not sure, it says Jacob Alexander Chair Company across from us. I think it used to be something else. So much of our furniture is left here. That's an old factory. Uh, I'm not sure what's in all these factories. I know there are some places that sell furniture in there now. So I've turned it north on Praley Street. Alba Waldensian Incorporated said Alba plant. So that was one of the plants at one point. I'm gonna go straight across St. Germain here and uh, take us kind of down onto Main Street of Valdez. And we'll do a quick little run through. Once again, trying to be careful of all my lumber and stuff. Laurel House Designs on the right, First Citizens. The Old Rock School would be back off to my left. You'll see it 
on one of the cameras just past that tree to the left. A lot of really great shows and stuff there at the Old Rock School. Uh, particularly bluegrass, but they have little musicals, gospel, just, a, just all kinds of different performances to go on there. Now Myra's up ahead of us. It's sort of a you know little tradition here or a little established thing in Valdez. Uh, ice cream, hot dogs, hamburgers, they say they serve breakfast. On Friday nights, they usually have a big drive-through and fancy old cars and stuff. Maybe that's going to happen tonight. I don't know if it's maybe it's too early in the year to do that. And now we're on Main Street Valdez. Look over at the right at some of the uh, art and stuff that they have here at the little park. That's a little amphitheater where they do uh, presentations and stuff. The old uh, Presbyterian Church coming up here on the right in a minute is just uh, is beautiful. Waldensian uh, Presbyterian Church, I believe, is what it's called. Yeah. And this is pretty much it. We've done kind of a loop. I'm almost back up to BB&T again. And Valdez has a 20 mile an hour speed limit, which I am fully honoring today because I want my video, I want to go slow for my video. So there's a quick little loop. That's not all of Valdez, but it's all of kind of a little, a little main strip here. And since this is just a test video, maybe we'll do a more extensive Valdez tour here in the future. Let's go across Laurel Street this time. I don't want to speed. I think I'm going 22, so i got to be careful. right down here at East Valdez Baptist Church, which is just up ahead, just past uh, Giovanni's Pizza and the Masonic Lodge. There's the Love Lady Lodge we're coming up on. And we'll hang a right. And for those of you who visit Valdez, just a word of warning, there is a policeman that likes to kind of lurk at the bottom of this hill. This is a 35 mile an hour speed limit hill here. And just passing New Hope Habitat of the Apostolic Faith. But you better be going 35 when you get to the bottom of this hill or he will get you. <laughs> That's no lie. I say go less than 35, let's say. He was a nice guy. He stopped me one night. I guess my mind was just blank. Came back after a workout, and I think he said I was going 50 miles an hour down through here, which is kind of hard for me to believe, but possibly so. You never can tell what your mind will, when your mind's wandering where you'll go. So this becomes Mineral Springs Mountain Road, which heads up to where I, to where I live. We'll just keep on rolling, see how this thing sounds and looks. It's been a cold, cold early spring. It's quite cold today. It's a highway patrol or somebody just there in that Dodger. faster. Now, how am I doing this video with the three GoPros? Well, I've got one mounted on the top of my windshield on my Ford F-150, and I've got one uh, mounted left, one mounted right, actually onto a piece of magnetic sign material. I think it's probably about four, uh, 12, 14 inches in diameter. I made it round. I cut it with a pair of scissors. And uh, it wants to fold up a little bit on the edges. I'm afraid wind's going to get underneath it. I'm talking about the piece of material that I've got sitting on top of my roof. 
So I bought some little magnets from Lowe's. They're fairly stout. You can get a six pack of these little magnets for about three bucks. And I put them around the edges just to hold the edges down so that wind would get up underneath those flat magnets. I'll shoot a video of this in just a minute so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I, I stuck one of the GoPro mounts, one of the flat GoPro mounts, dead center. And of course I can spin that round thing any direction I want to. I've got it in a pretty steep angle. I'm guessing maybe 45, 50 degrees left and 45, 50 degrees right, maybe as much as 60 degrees, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, it's hard for, me, hard for me to get my geometry right. I stand up on the running boards of the truck so I can go get my head up that high because the F-150 is pretty high. I'm 6'2", but uh, it's hard to see up there what direction you got. And then I mounted the two GoPros up there on top. So that's how I shoot the video the left and the right and then of course to do alternate angles and things uh, I have to use Adobe Premiere Pro so I've been doing videos two ways I've been doing alternate angles I've been doing composite videos and I may uh, do this video both ways just to see what people like to watch um, you know you got an ABC if you want to go left right right now it'd be pretty boring watching this if you want if you want to look at the left because there's nothing but a mountain but then over to the right you got the valley it's kind of pretty I should say today it's very hazy. It smells like there's been a forest fire or something. It smells like the whole valley's got smoke in it. So I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, I take Adobe Premiere Pro and I can uh, apply a 3D effect to the left and right and I can composite it and make one big long wide strip of video. I tested it the other day with some tours of Morganton that I did and I was in uh, not wide mode but medium mode. I think I said on the video that I was in wide mode, but I was in medium. You got three fields of view on a GoPro Hero 3. Um, a narrow, medium, and wide. And I wanted to try narrow today because I wanted to see if I, when I did wide, it seemed like, I don't know, it seemed like I had almost too much video and I had to do it kind of long and skinny. And, and so I wanted to try narrow today and stitch the three narrows together and see how that looked. If it was more satisfying video to watch, could it be bigger? when I composite on screen. As you're seeing this video, if you're watching the uh, composite one, the one that has three cams at once, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. I've got a left, right, and you know, the problem is you gotta get the angles right, and sometimes maybe you've got your camera leaning just a little bit, don't even realize you do. So there's some weirdness to what I'm trying to do, but maybe it's turning out okay. We're gonna have a look here in a minute, we'll see. I'm going to stop here at my house. I'm going to park actually on the side here because I've got this lumber. I've got to unload for some uh, raised beds I'm going to make. So that is my yard. I'm going to pull up here to the side. And I've been working on raised beds, which you might be able to see above the truck. I don't know if you can or not. Good little tour. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we'll tune in later.